What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're finally gonna be laying some paint on the Evo 10. Now this is the first time I've ever sprayed paint, especially in a booth. I've used little spray cans before, but nothing like we're about to do. So this is gonna be a big learning process and hopefully comes out good. Now off camera, I did go ahead and clean up all the dirt and grime all over the engine bay. I went ahead and used some oven cleaner, which was recommended by the guy that's gonna help me paint the car. I picked some of this up for a dollar at the dollar store and it worked wonders. Literally like five, 10 minutes aside and we're good to go. We're taking the Evo to the body shop tomorrow at 9 a.m. So we need to get this thing loaded in the trailer, which is more of a process than it sounds because the hatch is in the trailer because we have no space in here for the hatch and all the Evo parts are also in the trailer. So we need to empty the trailer, find a home for that stuff, and then get the Evo loaded in there with everything that we're gonna be painting. Uh, and I'm gonna have to use the come along because this thing does not like to be pushed. I think with no axles and bad wheel bearings on the front end, it's, uh, it's a pain in the butt, especially with one person. So we're wasting precious daylight by talking. So let's get to work and get this thing loaded up. About an hour later, we got the Evo all loaded up. We got the front bumper in there, the lip, splitter, rear bumper in the back. Anything that's getting any touch of black is going to the body shop tomorrow. So yeah, obviously the middle part of the bumper in that area is black. Everything else is red. Lips going black. Bottom part of the rear bumper is going black. Engine bay is going black. Rest of it's pretty much going red. So we're gonna try to get the black stuff sprayed out this weekend. We gotta prep the whole car first and then uh, hopefully lay down some paint. I gotta get everything closed up, get the hatch back in the garage, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, boys, we made it here to Cameron's Body Shop, but my dumb ass left the keys to the trailer at the house, so I'm gonna get a ride back, and then we'll get the car unloaded. No way. Eh? So we spent the morning getting the entire bay pretty much prepped out. It's all sanded down with 320. And then we kind of went over everything with some water, some Comet and red Scotch-Brite, cleaned everything up and yeah, pretty much have everything prepped out, ready for paint. But as you can see, we got the car in the booth now. So we're just doing some finishing touches, prepping the rest of this out. And then we got to mask everything off and we'll be able to spray some black in the engine bay, baby. All right, so as we're finishing this prep work up, just want to put out like full disclosure. Obviously, if you want to paint the entire bay, you have to pull everything out of it. But like I mentioned in some previous videos, I went to pull the ABS pump out and a lot of those little fittings that go into the pump are corroded in there and they just wanted to round out. So I kind of left a lot in there. Obviously, it's not going to be 100% perfect, but for everything that your eyes are gonna see in the bay is going to be black and that's what I am really caring about. So we have everything tin foiled, masked off. The rest of the car is all, you know, plastic up so that way we don't get overspray black all over the, <laughs> the rest of the car. But I'll show you what I mean. So this is no SEMA build here. You can see I have everything tin foiled off but everything that I wanna spray is still all exposed. And then the deep spots like 
back in there. I'm gonna hit with some rattle can and then clear over it. You won't even notice. Whatever we don't get now, if for whatever reason we tear this all apart in the future, we can hit it then, it's no big deal. Um, but yeah, I would have to take the ABS pump out, which probably required me cutting the lines and I didn't wanna deal with all that especially on the timeline I'm trying to have this car done by. Right now we're just wiping down all surfaces to make sure this is as clean as possible before we start laying paint. We then hit some of the plastic pieces for the Varus kit with some adhesion promoter and then took some filler primer to certain parts of the car that were a bit rough. That way we have the best surface possible when we start laying paint. Car's all primed, wait a second. Car's all primed out. We are just waiting on this to all dry up and then figure out if we gotta sand any last minute things, but I think we're probably gonna be good to spray. We got some adhesion promoter on these little things that go on the side skirts and then the front lip as well. Everything you see in here right now is gonna get sprayed black tonight and then tomorrow we'll do the bumpers, the splitter and whatever we have left. <laughs> So we actually forgot about this piece. Uh, luckily, I have another Evo in the driveway and looked at it and realized, oh crap, we gotta paint this upper part of like the core support essentially. So this was really, really rusted from being in New Jersey and whatnot. So we're just gonna take all the paint off, bring it down to bare metal, and then we'll prime and, and spray this out as well. We did have to break the little airbag sensors off because they were so rusted in place. So we'll have to replace those. And then the little riveted tabs that sit here and here, we just drilled out the rivets, pulled them off, bent them back into shape, which I believe they're sitting right here. You can see how rusted they are. That was pretty much this whole piece. So these are all bent back into place. We'll have to sand those all down, spray those as well. Now over here in North Kakalaka, it's a little bit on the redneck side. You know, we're over here in squatted truck country. Yeah, it, you guys get the point, all right? So don't get in the comments about no mask. We'll be just fine, all right? So it turns out we go to spray this thing down and it's coming out like a freaking clear coat. And we promise you guys, you look in here. <laughs> That is like ink black, so not really sure what's going on. We're gonna redo some stuff and take two. It's a bad sign when the spray paint little rattle can job came out a whole lot darker than our little tap of paint. And then when we were spraying the lip is where we first realized that you can see it's not even covering up the little clear spots there. So something ain't right. Take two. Take two. Oh, look, it's black. <laughs> All right, guys, I've never painted anything before in my life, but I guess I gotta give it a shot at some point, right? So I'm assuming, just kinda hold the trigger in and go? That's, yep. Is that the trick here? Well, you guys saw, that was my first time ever even holding a paint gun, so um, how'd I do, bud? Wasn't bad, not at all, actually. <laughs> it, it looks okay, so I don't know how it's supposed to look and what's good, what's bad for the most part, but it's black, and that's really all I care about. Now that the original coat of paint, or whatever that was that we sprayed on the lip the first time has dried, we're now hitting it with an actual first coat of black. Alrighty boys, a little update. It's getting 
pretty late out. It's probably like, well, it's actually not really that late. It's almost eight o'clock, but it gets dark here around 536. Bumper is prepped out. We just went ahead and sprayed out this little cross member piece. So that's all good. And now Cameron's over there getting the clear ready to spray the rest of the bay and the lip and whatever we got in the booth. Now the clear coat is going to fog this entire place up. So I'm not even gonna have the camera in there or else I probably won't ever be able to use this lens again. So um, yeah, you're just gonna have to believe me on this one. <laughs> okay, so after two coats of clear, this is glossy. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, super shiny. I don't know, you wanna hit it once more? Or? Yeah. yeah. So one more coat on the bay. These things came out pretty good as well. And then same thing with the lip. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday now and we let the car sit overnight. We're back in the booth getting ready to spray out the bumpers. We just got to get those the rest of the way prepped. But check out this bay. This actually came out really, really good. The entire bay is exactly what I wanted. Um, you can see we sprayed pretty much to the door, but not the door itself. So everything that you're gonna be able to see in the bay will be black. Here is the little various front side skirt pieces. And these also, it's like a mirror. Came out really, really, really good. Just went ahead and took all of the masking off the car, all the tin foil out of the bay. And like I had mentioned, obviously, if we're doing this 100% right, we would take the back felt off, spray the back firewall. But because that ABS pump wasn't wanting to come off, we left it and I just tin foiled everything. Um, and honestly, it came out really, really good. So everything in the back is pretty much gonna get heat taped anyways. Um, and all of these little studs and stuff, we didn't want to spray them, so we just wrapped them in tin foil. That way, you know, your nuts can still thread on there just fine. But I will probably sharpie them black, so they'll, uh, they'll at least match and nothing will be red in here. But for the most part, yeah, everything came out really, really, really good. We're gonna get the car rolled out of the booth now, get a cover on it, but first we can get to see how it looks in the daylight. I did forget to bring my CPL for the lens, so I'm not sure what's gonna come up on the camera. But at least we'll get to see it, then we're gonna get a cover on it and we'll start spraying out the bumpers and everything once we get those back in the booth. Well, it's a few hours later now. Figured I'd take you guys outside, check out the bay. Looks pretty freaking good out here. Can't complain. And then looking at the whole car. Yeah, I dig it. We just spent the last few hours just 
getting everything else prepped out. All the bumpers and everything are masked off in the booth and we're getting ready to spray whatever's left to spray black. And then, uh, and then we'll probably call it a night for today. As I said, all the bumpers are in here. We got everything masked off. So this middle section is gonna go black. We got the splitter. This is all gonna go black. And then the little cross member piece, we're gonna respray and the rear bumper over there. We gotta finish masking that off, but this is all gonna go black. So real quick, three, two, one, bam. So everything is now sprayed out black. Keep it a buck 50 with you guys. It's pretty cold in here, so there's some imperfections on this piece, but we're gonna get that straightened out uh, in the next few days. Lip, it, or the splitter, came out pretty good. The middle cross member piece came out pretty good, and the rear bumper also came out pretty good. But like I mentioned, it is pretty cold in here. We're gonna hop out for the night. I gotta go to work tomorrow. Cam's gotta get back to work on you know, the actual cars that make them a lot of money tomorrow. So um, yeah, we're gonna get the lights out, head home, and uh, I'll probably wrap up this video right here, but I just wanna give a shout out to this guy. Uh, Appreciate you, bro. Hey, man. Huge help. There, uh, there's really two things with cars that I hadn't really stepped my foot in the door with, and that is transmissions and paint. So now I have at least a little bit of experience with one of them. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna head out. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out, see y'all later.